I will open uh, the project I did it in the first tutorial. As you remember, we did building number one. Now what we are going to do here, we are going uh, to design uh, this recording plant. So we go to plants, new plant. I will name it water cooled plant because I want uh, to make it with water cooled chillers. You can choose a generic chilled water plant, uh, you can use chiller plant. I will choose chiller plant. Go to systems and here you have to put the systems served by the plant. Okay, in our project we have uh, 35 typical building from building 1. So you can see here the number. I will put 35 number from building 1. Okay. After that, go to configuration, equipment sizing, I will keep it uh, auto sized, the program will size it. Chillers, how many chillers I want, uh, you can go, I will put it for chillers. After uh, the program size for us, the chillers, then you can redesign, increase or decrease the number of chillers. Now I will keep it for equally sized. Plant control equally unloading. I need all chillers to be equally unloaded. Leaving chilled water control constant, leaving chilled water. The design leaving chilled water temperature. I needed. 40 degrees Fahrenheit uh, here you can choose one cooling tower for each water cooled chiller or you can choose one tower uh, shared by two or four chillers I will choose one tower for each chiller so we have four cooling towers also go to schedule of equipment and here we have to define the chillers Okay, I will create a new chiller name. I'll name it uh, water cooled chiller. Workers buildings. Equipment type. You can choose from here, uh, water cooled, centrifugal, rotary screw, package, etc. Air cooled chiller, reciprocating, screw. I will choose water cooled, centrifugal. Go to design inputs. The full load leaving chilled water temperature, as we said, 40 degrees Fahrenheit the entering condenser water temperature I will keep it 85 degrees Fahrenheit full load power this the efficiency of the chiller 0 0.6 kilowatt per ton you can change it if you have uh, different data okay chilled water supply it's here 2.4 GPM per ton this depends on the delta t of the project our project is designed supply 40 degrees fahrenheit and return 56 so delta t is 16 degrees fahrenheit delta t 16 means the chilled water supply is 1.5 gpm per ton 
in case delta t is 10 chilled water supply will be 2.4 gp ampere ton you can follow this formula to know how much gp ampere ton depending on the delta t same for condenser water condenser water the flow depends on the range that is the difference between the temperature of water entering the tower and water leaving the tower 3 gpm per ton means we are considering delta t equal 10 degrees fahrenheit i will keep it 3 minimum load of chiller 20 percent okay i will keep it 20 and minimum entering condenser water temperature set point 60 i'll keep it 60. performance of the chiller i'll keep it same in case you have uh, different data from your chillers you can enter it here this will be supplied by the chiller manufacturer okay now I need all chillers same type so I can mark and make all equipment the same so here as you can see cooler flow rate 1.5 gp ampere ton condenser flow rate 3 gp ampere ton and cooling towers we will define the cooling towers I'll name it cooling tower workers building 3 gpm per ton flow rate same condenser flow rate design wet bulb 78 i'll keep it same range at design that is as we said the difference between entering uh, the temperature entering the cooling tower minus the temperature leaving the cooling tower okay fan kilowatt 0.05 kilowatt per ton same if you have different data from your manufacturer you will change it and okay all cooling towers i needed the same here we go tower flow rate 3 gpm per ton same condenser distribution now here you have to choose your system first either primary only constant speed you have primary only variable speed or primary secondary with secondary as variable speed i will choose primary secondary primary pumps uh, will circulate water from the primary pump to the chiller to the secondary and secondary pump will circulate water from secondary pump to external networks buildings and returning back to the primary pump coil delta t as we said 16 degrees fahrenheit okay let's go here and define the head of each pump the head of the primary pumps that means the uh, required head to cover the friction losses from the primary pump including the chiller to the suction of the secondary pump our design head for primary pumps is 70 feet mechanical efficiency of the pump and electrical efficiency i'll keep it same it's logic in case you have a different data also you will change it okay fluid properties fresh water secondary pump keep it auto sized head of the secondary that is the friction losses in the external network plus buildings or heat exchangers we have it 150 feet 
same I will keep efficiency and electrical efficiency I will keep it same minimum pump flow uh, usually the minimum uh, pump flow the minimum accepted pump flow is 30 percent control head control head means the head required bet between the supply and return or in other words the differential pressure between supply and return that you want to maintain and that will control the speed of the secondary pump condenser water constant speed pumps I need it 3 GPM per ton the head of the condenser pump okay I will change it here to feet the head required for the condenser pump is the static head from the condenser pump to the cooling tower plus the friction losses in our project it is 100 feet okay finished now let's go and do the sizing of this plant I'll do the sizing from June to August the summer time this will cover the peak load preview okay so here our plant size is 6155 tons Four chillers, each chiller 1538 tons. It's okay. In case you need less chillers, you can choose three and redesign. Or in case you need more, you can add and redesign it. We'll do the simulation review In the monthly simulation results, you can see here the plant cooling load in each month of the year, January, February, okay, here the maximum in August, 49 uh, million KBTU, KBTU equal 1000 BTU, and the total per year same you can see the expected electricity input by each equipment chillers primary pumps secondary pumps condenser pumps and cooling tower fans in each month the total of all plus the total of the cooling tower fan will be the power required to run this district cooling plant this number we will use it later in tutorial number three so now i will do the simulation again i will mark text this in order to export the file and use it later in the excel sheet you will see it in tutorial three Okay, thanks for watching, subscribe for more videos.